Hello and welcome to Coffee with the Librarians week of March 27th. Um, last week, I know that I said February and it was really March, but hey, things have been busy. <laughs> so I just want you to know that I know that it's March and I'm curious what is going to come up for today. So let's just take a moment. Okay, what's coming up today is uh, <laughs> bam, big packet of information. What's coming up today is how things are explained differently, but it's the same concept. And how so often we get confused about is something right or is something wrong? And do you have the right idea or do they have the right idea? Or is this what's going on or is that that what's going on? And why are we, you know, in, in opposition and I'm right and you're wrong and blah, 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 blah. And the whole idea of right and wrong that is such a false construct because so often the descriptors used are describing the same thing, the same situation, the same. So it's just that our language is different. And really, we're describing the same thing. For example, they're saying a lot of religious thought, religious ideology, religious writings. It's describing the same concept in different words. And it's just that different cultures had different phrases and different points of reference. And it's all the same concepts that are being described. So it's not that one is right or one is wrong or one is missing out or one is. It's just that what is being described, that the whole is the whole. The whole is always the whole in everything. So what is being described? Maybe this one little piece is being described here, but then it's being described a little bit differently over here from this perspective and for that perspective and from this perspective. And, and maybe some people are looking down the mountain and other people are looking up the mountain and other people are looking across the valley. And some people are looking at it and describing it when there's clouds. And some people are looking at it and describing it with morning light. And some people are looking at it and describing it with afternoon light. And it's all the same thing. And not only with religious ideology, although they're saying that's the thing that so many people can understand um, easily, with, with that it's the same thing with different descriptors, but so many things within life too, whether it's within politics or culture or anything like that, we're all describing the same thing. We're just seeing it from a different vantage point. And they say there is going to be so much more conflict agitation. The word is agitation. There's going to be so much more agitation that keeps coming up in our world, in our world political systems, in our world ideologies, there's agitation. And that much of that agitation is around, oh, wow, more people describing the same thing. So when more people are describing the same thing, you get more of a story because they're saying, here's, here's the truth, here's the ideology, here's the thing that's happening. And people are 360 degrees around describing it. And they're all describing the same thing. And that's, oh, one of the things that makes this time so much more difficult in ways, and, and they that that in, in ways than in the past, because we now have access to the way so many people are describing things. And we now have access to people from different cultures, different ages, different generations, different backgrounds, different ideologies, explaining the same thing. And instead of embracing and broadening, oh, 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 broadening our definition based on what everybody else is saying, we are locked into that, no, that's wrong. No, this is what I see. And until we all start getting curious and saying, ooh, we're all describing the same thing. I'm just doing it from a 45 degree angle from the right and you're doing it from a 15 degree angle from the left. Let's compare and let's put together all of our descriptions so we can come up with the whole picture. What is beautiful about this time, sorry, this is a lot. What's beautiful about this time is that so many people are describing and that so many descriptors we have easy access to and we've got the technology and the capability of putting it all together. What's problematic about it, though, is that we're not understanding that. And until collectively on a human level, we all understand that what's being described is the same concept 
and that we start opening up and getting curious about well, what does it look like from over there? What does it look like from up the mountain? What does it look like from down the mountain? What does it look like from across the valley? That's only that that's truly when we can finally get the full picture when we embrace everybody's vision of it. And what they're saying is happening on so many levels, like with culture wars and things like that. There's no culture wars. It's an event and it's now being described from a different vantage point. And if we want to tone down this agitation, if we want to move forward, if we want to all find the peace that we all want peace, we all want peace, we all want unity. If we want that, what we need to do is start getting curious and saying, oh, you're describing it from a different vantage point. You're describing it from a place that I haven't been. You're a taller person, you're a shorter person, you're to the left, to the right, wherever it is, it's the same description. So embrace that description. So your image, so your picture of what's going on will be a more fleshed out picture. So that's what's coming in. It's all truth. It's all valid. Nobody is wrong. It's just from a different vantage point. So embrace everything as being from a different vantage point and use it to help you complete your own picture of what's going on. There you go. That was a good one. I'll see you next week. Bye.